Is dog a K9 out of 10 or is it a rough adventure? We'll find out soon. Hey everyone, this is David Stark from Watcher Pass, and I'm going to talk to you about Dog, which is coming to theaters on February 18th, 2022. It stars Chain Tatum, a puppy, and a whole lot of other people, but really it's a movie about Chain Tatum and a dog. And you know what? That's enough. That's perfect. That's great. So I actually was surprised by this film because, you know, I don't watch trailers. I don't watch uh, previews, things like that. So the only thing I knew about this movie was the poster, the, the poster that like has Chain Tatum and the dog and it has like the tagline of like, and the tagline is something like one is a filthy, no good animal and the other's a dog or something like that. And I was like, oh, this is going to be like some sort of buddy comedy type film turner and hooch maybe that's going to be kind of like a, a silly room uh a silly buddy comedy about this this guy and this dog it is so much better than that it is such a more dramatic and interesting film than the marketing gives it credit for i actually think the marketing did it a disservice because i went in thinking like oh this is going to be just some silly ridiculous film and it actually does a pretty good job on the drama department so my hot take is so I think you should watch it. It's a much more serious film than I expected. And it has a solid dramatic comedic performance by Chan Tatum and delves into some interesting aspects about PTSD and military life that I wasn't expecting. And I think the film handles it actually pretty well. So I'm gonna tell you a little about the film, a few things I like, a few things I didn't like, but overall, I actually really enjoyed this film. You know, it's got a dog in Chan Tatum. I knew I was gonna at least enjoy it, but I actually liked it a lot more. So in Dog, you have Chan Tatum as an ex-army ranger. He uh, served in this unit with this other person named Rodriguez and a few other soldiers and this dog Lulu. So this dog Lulu was a canine member of this unit and she would go in, she would help sniff out threats, she would help defend the men. Like she did her service as well. So at some point Chan Tain was injured and I believe was medically discharged. I don't think he was dishonorably discharged. I think he was medically discharged in this film. Uh, and so he's back at home trying to live his life, trying to deal with his military issues and his injuries, and just trying to kind of get back into that world. You know, he's no longer military, but he's trying to get into like private security and other uh, types of security work and just kind of trying to live his life and, and just dealing with all the issues that came up. So he gets the news that one of his squad mates, Rodriguez, uh, killed himself. And what the military wants him to do is take, to take Rodriguez's dog, Lulu, from the base to his family uh, so that Lulu can attend the funeral. And so it seems like a pretty normal endeavor, except Lulu has been at war for about seven years. It's, she's still a dog, but she has very specific training and she has issues from being at war. Like she is skittish sometimes. She doesn't like loud noises. She attacks people that look a certain way because that's what she was trained to do. And so what seems like it should be a very simple task is made that much more difficult because Lulu is kind of deranged at the start. I mean, she's not crazy, crazy, but she is not trusting. She is uh, very aggressive. And so it starts off as this kind of like silly road trip where Lulu is just causing havoc. But through this and kind of through the introduction and, and some of the concepts, it does touch on aspects of PTSD and of military life and of kind of what happens after the, the fact. You know what, I'm getting into some of the things I like, so I am going to just go right into the things I liked. So things I liked about this movie. The first is the dog. I mean, look, you've got a, a, a big star in Chain Tatum and you have this great puppy star in Lulu and I thought she was great. Look, I'm a dog person. I loved a movie with a dog and I thought that Lulu did a really good job of kind of adding some part to this film. Like the, the movie actually starts off very smartly by showing some of Lulu's training and some of the things that Lulu did for the squad through pictures and through like letters and things like that is an interesting way to start, but it really does give you a look at the types of training that she had and the effect that she had on this unit. I think it really does a great job of starting you off with an emotional connection to Lulu, even before you've met her. And then when you meet her, like, you know, she does some crazy things, but she's still a puppy dog. She still has those puppy dog eyes. Forgive her for everything she does. And it was really great having this dog as a main focal point of this film, especially when she is paired with Chain Tatum, who is the second thing I really love. Chain Tatum is a great actor, and this film really lets him stretch kind of his dramatic comedic chops. I mean, he he always is he always has that nice balance of like a strong man with feelings, but in this film, he really gets to get into some a little bit more of a dramatic territory because of his character dealing with PTSD. But it's still a buddy comedy, and he still is able to kind of insert some humor into 
almost every interaction. Uh, so that kind of that lets you explore some very serious topics, but also have a certain amount of levity. The third thing I really liked is the military aspect. I mean, this film, I didn't expect this film to delve so much into PTSD and into military life, but it doesn't. I think it does it fairly accurately. Like some of the things that both Channing Tatum's character and the other military members in this film deal with do feel like things that would affect you after your service. You've got dealing with life after the military, dealing with kind of civilian life, thoughts of suicide, thoughts of trying to like get back into that fight if you even if you can't, injuries that occur. Like the film kind of runs the gamut of different things that can happen to a veteran after the fact. I wasn't really expecting it to to delve into that. And there are some very serious things that this film deals with that I thought were actually handled pretty well. But it also it isn't all negative because it also shows the you know the, the love that you can have in your squad and also just the love of the military community. Like there are some scenes where people, you know, connect over their shared service and connect over their shared experiences even though they didn't really know each other. So the, the, it, it handles the military aspect overall very well. The fourth thing I really liked, I've already talked about, is the humor. Like this film has some laugh out loud moments. It's not as funny as I expected it to be. I expected it to be kind of more just a ridiculous buddy comedy, but it does have a lot of moments of levity that do help to break up some of the drama. And the last thing I love, I already talked about it, is a drama. This is a much more dramatic, serious film than I expected with a lot more kind of on Channing Tatum as really only human in a lot of scenes. And so seeing him kind of deal with these issues and deal with this mission, this last mission that he has is a treat. And I think it is, does a really good job. Uh, things I was kind of neutral on, there is a little bit of a strange tone here. I wasn't sure exactly where this film was supposed to be. It's PG-13. It, I think it's billed more towards like a, a, a teen level, but it deals with some very serious topics. Like I mentioned, suicide, uh, PTSD, life, like trying to figure out what you're doing in life. And so I wasn't sure, you know, it, it kind of strikes this weird balance of having some really silly, ridiculous moments, but then having some very serious life events. And so I put that as neutral because it wasn't really bad. It just felt a little weird at some points. Things I didn't love as much. I don't know, like nothing really. I guess maybe some of the antics were a little bit out there, but they, they were funny. They were enjoyable. Uh, so I wouldn't fault it that much. And I guess maybe the dog turn, like the dog. There was this long buildup where Chan Tatum and Lulu are kind of at odds. And then eventually the dog kind of turns, you know, and, and accepts him. It was pretty quick at that point. But, but before then, we had a very long journey of misadventures. So, again, very minor points. So, overall, I actually like this movie a lot more than I thought it would. I think it's, uh, it's an interesting film. And it, has, it showcases Chan Tatum. It showcases a dog. What more could you want? So that is Dog. It comes to theaters on February 18th, 2022. Oh, and uh, the last thing is uh, my friend Najir from Big Gold Belt Media asked which animal-based film was the best of the ones that were released recently, cow, pig, or dog. So cow is a reference to First Cow, which came out right before the pandemic. Uh, pig was a Nicolas Cage movie that came out recently uh, and showcased Nicolas Cage's acting. And Dog is this movie. It's a tough call. I didn't expect it to be this tough, but I like them all. I think maybe First Cow would be my favorite because it's just such a unique film, but this one is very good. This one is up there and I definitely recommend it. So that is Dog. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this review, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Make sure all my new content goes straight to you. And please check out my other content. I've got other reviews, interviews, unboxing videos, and recommendations. Thank you.